Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to connect a mouse, Bluetooth mouse, to your iPad. Now, in another video, I just showed you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard, but if you really want to get something closer to a workstation experience, what's wrong with having a little mouse as well too? Uh, this is a really cool mouse. Uh, you can use uh, Bluetooth to connect to it. This particular one also has a USB um, radio that you can use instead of the Bluetooth connection. All you would need to do is plug that into USB port on your device and it will work. Um, and I can do that with this, but because uh, I do have um, a hub that I can connect my USB type C to and then I can connect that little radio into the hub. But I want to use the Bluetooth connection because I don't like any clutter. This is the perfect setup right now for somebody on the road. Now, to connect your Bluetooth mouse to your Apple iPad. So the first thing I do, I'm gonna click the gear here to go into our settings page on our iPad. Then I'm gonna to go to Bluetooth. And as you can see here, we have a list of connected or not connected Bluetooth devices that I have used in the past. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to go onto my mouse here and there is a the button right here is a Bluetooth button. I'm gonna hold it down until the LED starts to flash on the mouse fast, like a fast flashing blue LED. There it is, it's flashing fast, and there you see the G604 light speed mouse comes up. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's asking to pair, I'm gonna say yes. And now our mouse is connected. And to see proof of that, see that little icon? It's moving around. And I also have uh, track this track um, well I call it trackball but this moves up and down you can you know use this to navigate up and down on screens and scroll that feature works on here pretty well pretty nice as well um, and what I like about it you do kind of get a kind of a workstation experience where you can go around here you can click uh, click on a on double click to open apps uh, you can double click within the app you can hold and drag and you know move things on the screen and manipulate the screen just like you would on like a PC environment or like a desktop um, which is pretty cool um, so it really helps uh, you know you have not just a touch screen experience you don't just have the Apple pencil you have you know keyboard and in this case now we've augmented it with a mouse as well right um, and I find it comes in handy like when I'm using like I'm writing simple notes I can come up here I can you know type Right, and then if I want to move, you know, I can scroll up and down in the document, and I can then go where I want to within the where I was typing, and then I can continue typing there. It's you know, it really helps enhance productivity. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that simple video on how to connect a Bluetooth mouse to your Apple iPad. Everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your iPad. Now, the first thing you do once you've logged into your iPad, you go to hit the settings icon. You hit that. And then you go to Bluetooth. Make sure that the Bluetooth is on, right? And when it's on, when it's off, it looks like that. When it's on, you see that little green area by the switch that's illuminated green? It's on. And I actually do have a list of other Bluetooth devices that I had once connected to. Now, the good thing about iPads is that once you turn on the Bluetooth, it automatically uh, makes the iPad discoverable. Uh, to other Bluetooth devices. So it's now looking to uh, pair with whatever is looking to pair with this iPad. So what I'm gonna do on my keyboard here, this is a really cool keyboard. I'll have a link to this below in the description section. What I love about this keyboard, it has that nice clicky uh, feel. Um, very similar key feel to what you would have on a MacBook Pro or MacBook or you know MacBook Air. Um, has a similar look, chiclet style keys. Um, anyway, so, and this has a rechargeable battery built in um, and it lasts pretty long, really, really long on one charge. So anyway, right here, there's a button that says connect. So I'm gonna press that. Well, first of all, I have to turn it on. That might, you know, make sense. So I've turned it on and I'm gonna press the connect button down for a bit. And you see here, that flashing green light means it's looking to pair. So let's go to our iPad here now and just wait. 
And as you can see here, it says other devices and you see the little spinning icon. So it's looking to see what is there to pair. So what I would do normally if it doesn't work, I would just turn off the Bluetooth and turn it back on. And then here we go. So that worked. And right now I see Bluetooth keyboard here in the list. I want to click on Bluetooth keyboard. And we are now connected. And as you can see here, I'm just using these arrow keys and I'm moving that, that cursor around, but we are now connected. And to prove it to you, let me open a simple application, something where I can type. Let's go to notes. So I'm gonna create a new note. And this is a test of my new Bluetooth keyboard. Look at my bad spelling. <laughs> really bad spelling. I bought this um, accessory specifically for use on my brand new spanking new iPad. Anyway, you get the gist guys. This is a really cool accessory uh, to uh, really enhance your iPad using experience. So I hope you enjoyed that simple video on how to simply connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your Apple iPad. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it, thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I am appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye bye.